Hello, friends. How are we doing? How are things going? I don't know why I'm singing everything. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop singing now. Um, <laughs> how's it? How is it? How are things? Hi, friends. Things are gross. Oh, no. Should we... Do we... Do we gotta go punch some things? Oh, no, not goopy hands! Are you doing something that's keeping you gooped? So you can't wash them yet? I'm, that's the worst, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope you get it done soon, so that you don't have goopy hands. Um, yeah, that's not, that's not fun. That's not great. Um, aside from goopy hands, how are we doing? Are we excited for more vampire? I did it bad again. I forgot to open up my soda. Rip it and rip it. Yeah, rating stream's been 100 percented Hi, Sam. How's it going? Um, I know we discussed reading, potentially reading some, like, short stories from Agatha Christie. I think I just want to read, I think I want to read Frankenstein. I have to double check on that. It's either going to be Frankenstein or an Agatha Christie thing. Maybe both. We'll see. But yeah. <laughs> we can redeem more pirates. What? 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 Um. So yeah, I will, I will be working on that. Since the reading stream has been 100%ed. Oh, no. Oh, I understand. Oh, I understand. It took me a minute, but I understood. I got there eventually. Yar. More pirates. Yikes. Sam, how's it going? How are you doing? Fruity, how are you doing? <laughs> I, okay. Real talk, though, and then there was none is my all-time favorite. I don't think it's in the public domain just yet, though. Um, which wouldn't stop me from reading it anyway. I could very easily just turn off clips and we could read it that way. Um, and then there was none is my all-time favorite Agatha Christie story. Fun fact. <laughs> there's a, there's an old PC point and click game for it that I used to play a lot as a kid. Maybe I'll revisit some of the Agatha Christie games at some point. Let's see what I can do about getting my hands on those. Um... But yeah, so hopefully in the next week or so, we'll be able to do the, re the reading stream. I just need to get the stuff together. It's not going to be that difficult. You won't have to wait as long as you have with the other uh, special streams that we've had to do before. Although, we got we got the stream anniversary stream coming up soon. Uh, on the 24th? What day is the 24th? What day is that? It's a dang Friday. It's next Friday. Gotta, I gotta plan that out a little bit more. Um, so maybe... So maybe we won't do it this next week. Maybe we'll do it the week after. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh no, no, no freezing streams. It does not look like I've been dropping. Okay, it's fine on Travis's end. Fruity, is it okay for you if you're still there? Um, I was gonna say, I wish, like, I, uh, I don't wish. Uh, okay, it was just Sam. Well, we've got to figure it out. Since I got, like, the better internet, <laughs> I haven't had to, like, I don't feel like I have to stare at my, my bitrate all the time anymore. Which is really nice. But then it makes me panic when there's issues like that because it's like, oh no. Oh no! It's okay. We got it though. So yeah. Um. <laughs> well. Well. Unfortunate. Um. So yeah, we'll figure out a day to do the reading stream. Not this Friday, but the following Friday is going to be our stream anniversary stream, uh, in which I play Made a, Made a Skur again. Made a Scar? Made a Skur. 
we'll play that game again, since that was the very first game that I really played. Um, thank you for the lurk, Travis. I hope you can wash your hands soon. Um, <laughs> get back to your goopy hands. Um, and yeah, more vampire tonight. Are we ready to like work on on leveling up some so we can do and eat on these terrible, awful human beings that we are around? Hold on a second. I need the sound to come back. Sound. There it is. And to continue our terrible, awful conversation about <laughs> vampire physiology and what all that entails. Yikes. Yikes. Um, oh, hiccups. Excuse me. Excuse me. I am very excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is it serious here? Excuse me, why is why is the district health serious? What happened? Is it just because we've is, is it is it because I got rid Oh, is it because we got rid of What's her butt? I didn't murder that many people here. I think it's because we got rid of Dorothy. Because we fired her. Well, this is a problem. Um... Oh. Oh. Oh, I actually have you mean I actually have to be a doctor and like treat everyone? You mean I actually have to to cure people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's an issue. Okay, how do I go about taking care of people? I mean, I know we got the treatment, so there's fatigue. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write this down so I can keep track of how many fucking things I need. Uh, okay, we've got fatigue, anemia. One fatigue, one anemia. We got... I haven't met Harvey yet, but I need to talk to him. We gotta be a doctor, Donnet. <laughs> For real, though? Two fatigues, three fatigues. Everyone's just fatigued. Pippa's got a cold? This is a problem. Milton's fatigued. Gwyneth is fatigued. So that's five fatigue so far. Newton's got a cold. And a migraine. I don't think I can fix that just yet. Okay, alright. Back upstairs we go. I gotta make shit. I know I have some, <laughs> I didn't realize I had to actually do anything for these people. I thought they just took care of themselves. Excuse me. <laughs> I do gotta fix all the broken people. <laughs> well, hey, we already have three treatments for fatigue. So like, we're more than halfway there. That's pretty great. Just tell them to die in an exercise. <laughs> You'll feel better in no time. Um, okay. I didn't need that many for that. Sepsis! Oh. Treatment for cold. I don't have a way to treat migraines just yet. That's a bit of a problem. 
I am just gonna make a bunch of everything to kind of have on hand. <laughs> I have too much- I have too much other information that I'm taking in at any given time. I can't be bothered with healing these people. Who do- where do they think they are? A hospital? Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Pippa. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Pippa, I got- I got stuff for you? Um... Hey. Do you want- I didn't want to Do you need medical mesmerizer. help yourself, Nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Dr. Reed. Here, I have medicine that I have given you. Uh, here. Take- Not under my watch, Nurse. Take this. So forceful. Feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. <laughs> Another one. Okay. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. All right. So she should be feeling better, right? Recovering! How are you doing, buddy? Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? <laughs> yeah. Do you need How my you medical feeling? attention, dear colleague? You don't have to worry about me, Dr. Reed. I am here to assist you, not to be a burden. Then tell that to everyone else. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. That's not true. I, it's obviously patients aren't burdens. I'm just sick of everyone's shit. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your oh, arrival. Oh, this is the guy I haven't met yet. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival Waverly. inconvenience you in some way? Waverly? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swanson's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Can we eat him? Can we eat him? Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. He's one Consider of the Consider it nerds. a gesture of solidarity. He sits like a nerd. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. I don't like this man's attitude. Yeah, do you, you have, have a problem, problem with me? Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. We'll consider it. The we benefit are of his very position. heavily considering but it. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before. Travis! But I this could use all the help it can get. <laughs> you will agree with that, I'm sure. Wow! Okay! <laughs> but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Okay! Of course, I see you how can't it say is! Same about me, since I have not wasted my time courting the press. I am sorry it wasn't, it, it wasn't, it didn't, no one told me, no one told me that I had to, to like, heal people. I was just told that I needed to be here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. No one remembers that tracheotomy. No one remembers. <laughs> Better change your tone You are with going me. to change your tone with me dear colleague, and very quickly. I don't think so. Perhaps you think yourself protected by Dr. Swansea, but I this am still a free man. Man! And I will speak to you the way I want. <laughs> it's true, though! Since your tenure in this hospital... I mean, he pretty much just said, hey, come here, do Perhaps blood, blood transfusions every so often. Let's just hang out. I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I'm gonna have I've a always respected the real skills long of talk Swansea, of my boyfriend. But over time, his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness? Exactly what are you talking about? I am about? upset. We're here <laughs> to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. Who said that I'm not here to protect patients? Me. I kind of said I wasn't here to Tell protect me, patients. Waverly, what do you think Yikes. of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Oh, no. Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. 
Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. Okay, well... Why do you wish to lead this surgery? <gasps> I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. Other people may say that's too conservative a point of view. Conservative? And what are you going to say to Mr. Fiddick if he loses his arm because of the operation? Because that's what's going to happen if the surgery is a failure. I mean, is Mr. Fiddick up for the for the surgery? Is he cool with it? And are you not then afraid let's that do your it. rivalry with Strickland? Consent, yo. You? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> Whatever, man. Personal questions? Oh my god, I do have. Okay. I don't okay, know we'll what you've heard about me. We'll make but it I have happen. Already proved we'll ask the questions. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money? Fame? Or are you truly dedicated? And I what am exactly is dedicated. that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I, I did guess not you could say I practice my profession to make sorcerer. sure I can get a Be careful what you insinuate, bite Dr. To eat. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve <laughs> your theories. Also, this dude. This dude. Knowledge has always been and will remain our main weapon. And it has always come at a price. And personal initiative. It is not a question of initiative. It is a question of integrity. These men and women have put their faith in us, Dr. Reed. Okay, you can't compare our hospital with an actual battlefield, but it go seems off. You have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War I mean, only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. Because I, mean, I do, I do genuinely agree to some extent on some of this, but at the same time, it's like. <laughs> right? Uh, it's 1914. Um, so we were still very bad at Thank doing the whole we'll talk medical ethics thing. I mean, let's be real. We're still very bad about the medical ethics thing. There just happens to be a few more safeguards in place. Um... <laughs> Good evening, Doctor. Not great. How is my son doing? Um, I don't know. How Do are you, you require doing? medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No. I don't feel well, actually. Cool. Here, have some Despite medicine. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well-deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Well, uh... Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, is, Mrs. like, thus far seems, How like, pretty you? on top of... I mean, for the most part, pretty on top of, like, their medical stuff, which is appreciated. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I mean, they do mention, like, at the very beginning, like, when you first open up the game, that it's, like, these medical practices are... We're, they're either taking some liberties with them, um, <laughs> slash, not all of it's great, don't try this at home, kids, also, take it all with a grain of salt, but... You are not a burden, sir. You know. Healing you is my responsibility. <laughs> and you have my gratitude for that. Everyone is feeling I better. I have to go now, sir. Yeah, but no, that one was definitely to sus. You need any help. Good evening, sir. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Who are you? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Gotta, we gotta introduce ourselves to everybody. May I, help? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Definitely not Your mine. colleagues are already arguing. I'm still gonna blame Dorothea for, like, questioning me and making everything me hold up. The they're Harvey stupid. Thing. Are you sure? All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Um. Oh, you're the guy. You're the guy. Can I help in any way? Really? 
Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Here, take the medicine. you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I'm sure if my missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me. It was just so obnoxious because she's like, Are you sure? Do you know what you're doing? Is this the proper treatment? And then when I was like, Well, do you have any better ideas? She's like, Well, you're the doctor. And it's like, Yeah. Yeah, I fucking am. Stop questioning me. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm anyway. just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. I'm just so a can regular return to work. guy, you know. And my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. Oh, I'm a carpenter. And a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Someone's groaning. Uh, about this Are hospital. you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you it's about true. it. I'm, I'm a certified you. phlebotomist now. Are you sure you don't now? want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I only I deal in cases with and blood. And your colleagues seem to think so, too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, this I don't is all think I can, I can handle. take on the responsibility. <laughs> My apologies. Oh, no. Okay. What Tell are me about doctors? the doctors who are arguing about What are doctors? They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. <laughs> Differences are disagreed about wooden nails. Not Too much blood? Got gotcha. it. Got it handled. It's fine. All right, let's go back. Personal questions. <laughs> Tell me about your oh, injury, hiccups. Harvey. Why do you feel mm. so guilty about snacks? It? I mean blood sacks. I mean me. meat bags. I mean patience. Lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. <laughs> what an asshole! The fucking TikTok things. Mommy, sorry, mommy. But in, instead of that, it's <laughs> blood sack. I mean, sorry, blood sack. Sorry. How could you, John, <laughs> be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. Mm. Snacks. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. <laughs> Capri Sun Snacks cracked that boy open and you shotgun can't his hold blood. You responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. <laughs> unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. <laughs> I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. <laughs> Not the ketchup. Absolutely similar enough. Oh, all right, Tell nothing to your wife. About the death of your Here wife, I am Bobby. laughing about shit while he's talking about his wife. I was in the army, <laughs> building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. Oh. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. Oh. I'm sorry for oh. your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. How old are they? <laughs> How are your children after losing their mother? <laughs> they were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. Right. Do you feel bad Goodbye for the buddy? For now, Mr. I'll see you later. But he's on the mend. <laughs> You're right, leaders, you say. Oh. oh. Pembroke Hospital, two of November. I know it's second of November. Oh well. My dear children, sorry I did not write to you before, but it hurts like hell just to write these few words on bloody paper. Don't worry. Daddy will go out of uh go out of the hospital as soon as the doctor fixes his arm. In the meantime, if you need it uh need something, go see Mr. Chadwick at the construction site and tell him you are Harvey Fiddick's children. You remember Robert Chadwick, big guy with the mustache who helped me repair the house doors last spring? Go see him and ask uh for a few bob. He won't refuse to spare you a few. Sorry I can't work anything for now, but we'll figure out something as soon as I'm out. Don't worry. Everything will be fine as soon as Daddy's arm is strong again. As soon as the doctors have fixed my arm, I... 
could just talk to him again since we're here. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. I need Good to remember evening, to read, Reed. check Any all the things that we operation? pick up. It's a Chadwick, an old timey Chad. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you seem worried about the safety of your family. Jonathan, not so and it's forceful. It's obviously the reason why your wound troubles you so much. I cannot give up on my children now. My God. They both need me living. What about their mother, if I may ask? No! She oh my God, Jonathan, we already one know of the first this. Zeppelin raids. We never found her body. Okay, that's literally Goodbye everything. Now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. That note was unhelpful. Okay, who else do we need to to take care of? Oh my god, everyone. Rakesh needs help. Milton needs help. Yeah, but do I want to? He's got kids. Hear me out. He's got children. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Fruity, no! <laughs> I'm gonna do what I can to make sure that everyone is healthy and happy and not dead. Okay? That's Pippa. That's Thelma. Get out of my way. Hey, buddy. I hear you're not feeling too hot. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. It's basically Capri Suns. No! Do you need assistance? Not, Not really. wrong, though. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead. I got you, bud. You're smiling inside, Dr. Reed. Here. Here. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Okay. Um... Just gonna check to see if there's anything new we need to ask him, and there is Goodbye not. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. You disgust on every street corner. Don't put on to these nurses. He doesn't show up. Oh right, we ate that man. <laughs> oh right, he got it. Um, so then the boys out front, which is Rakesh, Milton. Newton and Oswald. So we just need to find Gwyneth, who is probably also out front. That's because everyone's on the I never mend. Thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Oh right, that's what Mary. we were doing. I can't forgive myself. Good evening, Doctor Tibbets. Doctor Reed. Tibbets is healthy and share? fine. Do you have anything new? You are exhausted. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. <laughs> we are the last rampart before. Or they're place. the only ones who know how Once to spell the name, the actually. The old pre anglicized version of the name. It's all good. Hi, Arcade, how's it going? How are you doing? Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. Huh. She should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame <laughs> her. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's so opinion is so the wrong. only one I may listen to. Oh, no. Okay, was there... Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. <gasps> Thanks. I'm trying new stuff with my makeup lately. Um. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, like Doctor. Still stuff. trying to Nothing save lives. Nothing super serious, but you know. Thanks. I appreciate it. I've already asked him about his relationship with Nurse Hawkins. So why is it? Do you so need full? any medical Doesn't help? matter. Let's just make I'm sure he's healthy. I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. No. <laughs> no. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in no. being ill while you're in the hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. Have you seen my Thank face, you. my dude? I guess we'll... What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Try this again. Tired. Tired of all this shit. 
Tired of all those corpses piling up. Okay, so this is the dialogue. As I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other, and that's all that matters. Valid! You do realize you could both get fired. It's a good question. We'll Hospital check it out in a second. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? Many. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if he's got handles. I do remember like we wanted to, to check that case. out. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. Generally A see what people were selling. Is what everybody needs these days. Handle part. Handle part. Handle parts. Milton shotgun though. I only have 514 and this thing costs 385. I am going to buy all of these parts though. Fuck it, we're buying it. No regrets! Oh, oh. Another night with the glorious battalion of Pembroke. Okay, where the fuck is Gwendolyn? Ma'am. There she is. Hey. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening. Shotgun did say it did like 300 damage, which is why I think it's 100% worth all of that money that I just dumped on it. Okay. Do you require um, medical assistance, Nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. You will never get any sleep. Take this medicine. Nurse, you won't be able to help you <laughs> if you're sick. Take this, and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Ye -ye -ye. Goodbye, right. nurse. Call me if you need assistance. And then we gotta go check on the boys! Hello, boys! Um, I did pay for it in shillings, too. I just have a whole bunch of loose change in my pockets. Don't even worry about it. Where did I get it? You'll never know. There the boys. Hello, boys. It's locked, all right. Let me in. <laughs> happy, happy to. to be of service. Now, my biggest issue at first wasn't even necessarily that I was, like, anti-TikTok. I was just like, I don't need any extra apps for me to endlessly scroll on. I know. I know. But then I realized I was endlessly scrolling on Facebook for stupid videos. And it was a lot less catered and just a lot more dumb. And so I was like, let's just fucking do it. <laughs> Boys! No! <laughs> the memes are very good. Talk to me. Hello Thank again, you. Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. <laughs> You're doing your rounds as usual. It's Do you need it was intimidating at first, and now right I'm just side. like, nah, it's fine, it's whatever. In the war. <laughs> I was always worried about picking up something, getting some infection. Unfortunately, I just I have that stupid boy song that stuck in my head London all now. of the time, all of the time now. History, Mostly because it's like it's the perfect way for me to greet Devo. Specifically, man. Devo. Wise to be careful. You're working at the Pembroke Hospital, aren't you? It's great. That's a good enough reason for me and Oswald to go there. <sighs> Ugh. Personal questions. Your phobia of rats. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Yikes! Oh, they started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears. That's not great, fingers, bud. Fingers. Lips. Not your fingies. Couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. 
You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald, he found me and saved me. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Sorry, that was so rough Take for you, buddy. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bud, don't Good walk evening. into the water. Evening, Dr. Reed. You are going to fall into the water. You need medical attention. Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable. No, with we didn't eat Oswald. We ate a different dude. <gasps> right, I don't have a treatment for your migraine. I will see you later. Uh, I don't have migraine medicine. Try to take care of. Is that everyone for the time being? Rakesh! I need to fix Rakesh! Don't... Buddy, I'm sorry I forgot about you. There's just so many fucking people in this hospital alone. Why? Why should we eat Oswald? I'm not gonna eat everyone! How many dang times? Okay. Valid. But he seems much more sane and a lot less right horrific than Margaret Thatcher, so... Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. <laughs> we gotta end the... End the bloodline here. Oh, I can move the camera? I can move the camera? Do you need medical attention? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company. Even if the quiet can be appreciated. I don't have any more fatigue medicine. I will see you later. That's a problem. Please show me what. Of course. What do you got, though? You got. Opio. Okay, nothing I can afford right now, but you got stuff for medicine which is very important where is where is my room i would like to just jump up to my room it's full of opium is he full of blood but the blood had drugs? I'm just gonna crush that. A <laughs> child. <gasps> that was terrifying. Hi, Bono. How's it going? Where the hell is my fucking room? I know I can just port my way up there. I don't know where my room is anymore. Rakesh, you might just have to deal with being tired for a little bit longer, buddy. Children don't need opium. This is These are facts. <laughs> don't give the children the opium. That's for me. Was I? I think I was going the wrong way for my room. Oh well, we're here now. Let's make all of the medicine, okay? Okay. Crafting some things! Oh, never mind. I can only make that now. Ooh. Not nopium. Good handle part, lead plate. What? Else. Okay, but I have Milton's shotgun. Oh. Oh, I see. Let's just go ahead and level this bad boy up! Decrease the loading time. Oh, we'll do that. And that. One of each. And then... Equip that bad boy! 
hit the wrong button. I don't understand. Okay, hold on. It's fine. It's fine. Um. <laughs> Alright, so we should be more battle ready now, which is exciting. Um, I've got medicine for Rakesh, so everyone should be feeling better soon. No more sickness here. Could have gone the other way. It would have been faster to go the other way. And and then, once we give Rakesh his, his medicine, we, we can... Oh, I've put so much stupid shit on the map because it's bad. So I am terrible at not just hitting all of the buttons all at once. Where is the other marker? There it is. Okay, never mind. It's off the map. I can't access it. <laughs> But yeah, we'll give her Kesha's medicine, and then we'll go. We'll go to our dead sister's funeral, and be like, "Oh, what a shame! Good How evening, could this have happened?" Such a pleasure to see you again. And do you need medical the proximity? And 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 Don't no one will be any the wiser that we and that is a good thing. are the reason. Goodbye, that she Mr. Is Chidana. Dead. I just got the achievement, Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta go for reasons. <gasps> what is this? Is that the Dilbert, the Dilbert, uh, emote that you made? Cause I love it. Cause I done dang loved it. It's very good. Alex. No, don't even worry about it. I saw that man t posing. No, it's- hey, look, I'm just trying to see my sister, okay? Don't even worry about it. I can't get into the graveyard. That's a problem. Can I, like, just run? Oh my god. Okay, we're dead. We've just absolutely died. Wow. What a great time! Also, the Dil the Dilbury emote is very, very good, and I love I love it. Please give the kitty cat pets for me. <laughs> Freddy, thank you for the bubble. Also, rip indeed. Oh boy. It can't be serious still. I've cured everyone. Thank you. All of the pets. Okay. Let's try it again. This time, not bad. I've gone the wrong way. Wait, what do you mean the lady? What lady? What lady went away? Oh, oh, I see. No, I understand. I think they have to I think they have to finish recovering before it'll be like everything is fine. But we'll see. If not, I'm going to be very upset that you made me heal everyone for no reason. I was content just Wandering around the, <laughs> the place. Strutting around the hospital. Like I owned it. I mean, I might have gotten an achievement, but that doesn't change the fact that I had to help people and waste practically an hour making sure everyone was taken care of. I like how they just, like, leave the bodies here. 
That's not how it works. God, look at those smacks! Come on, bud. No one can stop me! I am unstoppable! Hey! I have no blood. That's the issue. Ouch. I need blood! to just make my way to the cemetery. Ouch. Ouch. Let's get a chomp in here. <laughs> <laughs> Please? No. Only, only Reggie can meet Mary. Only. <gasps> Money. I just want to see my dead sister. That's all. Please. Fuck, it's false. No, I think you're just very slow, bud. Pop off our, our health a little bit, you know. We did it. Okay. Um. You have no items. Can I get in here now? Could I just not get in? I could. Okay. It's because I was in combat. I don't know if I have the strength. Eh, it's fine. He only went and murdered her. Okay, but real talk, I do like this cemetery. Well, I liked this cemetery until I heard a skull! Oh, I broke the headstone! I'm so sorry! Oh, I'm a monster! This is where I draw the line. I've just done it so bad. know that it was me. We just won't tell anyone. And it'll be fine. Yikes. Yikes. I missed Please be done. Getting the hang of combat now, though. Like, it's a lot less of an issue. Um, uh, heal me up. Let's make that not be a problem anymore. Thanks. Thanks. Where 
is my sister's grave. Uh, Ma'am? <laughs> Break so easy. I broke so many, and I don't like it. I feel very bad about it. physically incapable of not breaking the headstone. Oh, I didn't mean to eat the rat. Believe I'm doing this. Oh well. Sorry, Ratty. They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. I can't believe you've done this. About them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this Thank disease. You. I am Shao Shun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. <laughs> I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, bye. Yeah, you should leave here. It doesn't seem safe. Uh, ma'am? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Are we just not gonna talk about the bodies? It's locked, all right. The very fresh bodies that are in here? <laughs> not goop. Not the goop. I do. Just want. Oh no. I want to get rid of the marker that's here! I got rid of it. We got it. Everything's fine. Okay, sure. We'll just. I mean, they're dead. Nothing we can do to save them now, but. I am curious. And also, not hitting the proper buttons. Nate, hello, welcome. How's it going, buddy? No! Oh, I missed. Okay, look here, friends. Stop! I need more stamina! Okay. Um, can we try a chest massage? <laughs> I don't think we know how to do that part of doctoring. Um, if the last time we tried to do it told us anything. <laughs> yes, I have. I have gotten the hang of it. <laughs> I have a very steep learning curve when it comes to learning, like, new combat systems for games, but once I know how it works, then it's not a problem. It's just getting to the point where I know how it works and understanding its quirks. We got it now, though. Freris Tatar? 
<gasps> hi, Bean. Hold on. Come on, Mia. Come say hi. Come here. Hey. Come on, Mia. I don't want to roll over your little toesies. Come here. Oh, Bean, what happened to your face? Hey. Why is your noggin all scratched? It's the llama. But she got a scratch on her head. Right there. Right there. Right there. It's not nearly as gnarly as it looks, I promise. What happened? What happened? If it was anyone, it was probably Mork. Hi. What happened to your little head? Let me see. Let me see! Oh, you know what? She might have been the one to scratch it. She's been scratching her head a lot. Hi! Did you scratch yourself too hard? Can you not do that? Hey. No scratching your face, okay? Okay. She's very content, though. Yeah. What are you doing? Hey. Scratch yourself too dang hard. We don't like it when you do that. That leaves ouchies on your little face, and then you get a little bald spot. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Right? No scratch! Silly baby. I'm gonna put something on that later. I gotta trim her claws, that's what that means. That never happens. I never have to do that for her. Stop hitting me! Oh. Watery rich blood sample! I needed that for something and I don't remember what. What did I need that for? Screech! Hello? What skull is making <laughs> terrible bird noises in here? Are we all trying to sound like Bad Ben? Screech! Hmm. Okay. Is this where my sister is? No left hand Since wall. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. <laughs> this is despicable. I need to be discreet. Shoes on a rat. Mother, why have you come here? This is proving far worse than I imagined. Um, okay. A discreet location. Ah, up there. No one will ever see me. Hi, Mom. I am the resurrection and the life. Oof. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. <laughs> and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never do you die. Think, do you think they believe it? We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. <laughs> Earth to earth, Goodness ashes gracious. to ashes, dust to dust. Oof. Sorry, Mom. Hey, you're not allowed in that. Well, you're not allowed in that either. And stick her here in this cold, 
god awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, man. Oh, Avery. I feel so tired. Please you take me piece? home. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Maybe I can distract Lamia with treats. Ooh, how elbow. You murdered her, Jonathan. If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Is there a way to make my face not look bad? Jonathan, there is nothing you can do you following me, weirdo? but accept it. What brings you here? We know that I that's Lady Ashford. I do know game. I am so I am aware. sorry for your loss, Jonathan. Are you? She was yeah, it's Manjuice life. Day. We got vibrant, full of life. We got Manjuice today. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. He's a good. He's You're a good, a good person, Jonathan, and a young Econ. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. No! And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't! No. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered. And... And it haunts me. Can we give Jonathan, Jonathan a hug now? stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. I'm learning. Every night is a new lesson. What I am, what I must do to survive. But my sister, she shouldn't have suffered because of my weakness. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. I think it's called we grieving. Are when we grieve. And the Lady. guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. Oh boy. You felt this pain yourself. I'm liking her you less and less. have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Hold Loved up. Loved ones <laughs> I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. I'm not a religious man. You should know that. This is not about you forgiving yourself. This is for her. This is you telling Mary how sorry you are. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and oh, make God, that face. peace. <laughs> Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. not gonna cover her up. I <laughs> Yeah, I'm liking Lady Ashbury less and less every single time she opens her fucking mouth. I need her to stop. Um. Let's do a nibble on her. Um, wow, this seems like not the place to be. Ow. Lamia, don't jump on my foot! Hey, if I could not throw myself into the fire, that would be cool. Fuck, why are there so many? Ha, 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 ha. 
freaking <laughs> I am mourning my sister, okay? definitely gonna we're gonna do a chop here and there to just feel better about our life and the choices that we've made thus far fucking hell okay um watery blood samples for the plants in your office maybe it might be you might be right <laughs> You're probably right. I I remembered like that we needed it for something. I just couldn't remember what for. But now we'll find out. I'm gonna make the plant a vampire. It's gonna be fine. Do you want an Audrey too? Cause this is how you get an Audrey too. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to fight all those boys right now. But I want to know what's in there. And what if they've got good loot? Oh, it's a quarantine zone. That's fine. It's fine. I missed. Stop. Bruh. My guys! Look, I just need more blood in me, okay? I need to get out of the corner! Please. Please. I had it equipped. <laughs> I don't. I don't have it equipped, apparently. But I thought I had it equipped. I just need to get blood. I just want blood. Just give me blood. I do have it equipped. Oh, I have to like hit G or whatever, don't I? To fucking hell. I always hit the wrong buttons. It doesn't matter. Oh my god. Let's do this. Can you move, Jonathan? I'm hitting, I'm telling you to go forward. No, I want to, I want to remove. Why is it not just automatically? Stop locking on. I need you to move, Jonathan. Okay, nope. G made me stab myself. I don't. How do I unequip? Ah! 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 
My gun is equipped. Why don't I have my gun? Fuck off! Get the fuck away from me! You're still alive. Why the fuck can't I use my gun? Why can't I use my gun? My gun is equipped. Why can't I use my gun? It says I have bullets. It says I have bullets for my gun. Why can't I use my gun? I want you gone. What if I just equipped it in both slots? All right. It is equipped. Now it's now it's there. I don't understand. I don't get it. But we've got it now. <laughs> Literally fuck you. <laughs> So well, and then I got flustered about the gun situation, and then we weren't doing so hot. I need, I need blood. Please, 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 I need to not be in the corner. <laughs> I need you to stop trying to skirt around them and I need you to back out of this bad situation, Jonathan. I hate the gun. I hate I hate guns. I hate the guns. The guns are the worst. The shotgun sucks. It doesn't bust through their armor. It just hurts them a little bit. It's got spread, which is pretty nice. But it doesn't hurt their armor, which means I can't get blood. And I do be needing some blood. We're just gonna walk away from this area. I'm not gonna deal with this place. I don't like it. I am under-equipped for it. And we're just gonna walk away. I'm also going to change this. Because I don't like it. It was a waste of money. <sighs> They're safe for peace mine! I'll take it! Bruh! Ouch. No, my guy. 
Sometimes I can interrupt their attacks, which is nice, but you can never guarantee when that's gonna happen. Okay. Okay. Gotta go to St. Mary's Church. Oh, wait. Is that where Arson Priest is? Because I don't want to have to deal with him. She goes, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn. You reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed You're a your large skin. lad. Forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. I don't I don't think he's Ascalon. Abide by oh, them, you are a very large lad. As your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Uh, is <laughs> Blood and I'm not happy about that, so I'm gonna take some of his. That's how it works. Blood for blood and all that. This now he's dead. Stunned me with his face. His crucifix. This is not good news. I mean, we learned we. <laughs> Jonathan, we knew that that could happen. Edgar did that to us. Cool. New enemy dropped. Um, I hate it. I can't interact with the flower pot anymore. This is with the freaking arson priest. I'm going to go inside. What is it that you want? You're not I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. Jonathan, you're acting real suspicious. <laughs> May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray. 
to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. I've no need for a kind ear, only a moment of peace in God's house. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be a stone. <laughs> I like how two of the options are literally just this is private. Might as well. I've words for one departed. I guess. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Mm -hmm. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very okay. well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. I'm With real you tired of all these priests. She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? Uh, I killed her. She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Don't Mary. tell him the name. Forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten. If your words I didn't think he was sick. gonna like give that much Going information, now, but here we are. Your life in the way she would have wanted. There. I confessed to that vicar. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. How's everyone in this district doing? Everyone is sick. Exactly! What if he was a vampire hunter or is in cahoots with the vampire hunters? Like, bruh, we're gonna... We're gonna get got. I gotta fix all these people and I don't want to. <laughs> no, I do want to, but there's so many sick routine. people. Unable to see the true It's not my call, Barrett. You What's going Excuse on me, here? Sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite Ooh, a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your <laughs> service, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay, but here is out. I ship I ship our character with the head doctor at the uh at the hospital that we work with, who 100 percent knows that we're a vampire and is like, that's fine, I can study you. It's like, okay. <laughs> study this. Um May I ask? It's fine. Do it's hundred percent. I'll do whatever fine. I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. Oh, this guy. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. Is that a threat? <laughs> Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Oh, Why did you make this him is Harry's dad. I've always put my son's interests above everything else. 
whatever he may think. Our house is small but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd, I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. To be fair, Harry looks like he's at least 20 years old. I think he can handle himself. Have you Let's talk about the dispensary. Nurse Crane and her dispensary. She's doing good work. I saw her yesterday and told her she could call on me if she ever felt threatened. Do you know what I mean? Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Um. All right, let's take a short break. I need to use the restroom and put something on Lamia's face. Yeah. Thank you for licking my toe, kitten. Um, so yeah, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Yeah.
All right, I am back. Thank y'all for waiting. Leave your little forehead alone, llama. Cheap price, good quality. Come on, take a look. Don't um, be afraid. Travis, aim for the bubble. Okay, we gotta meet Edgar Swansea at the hospital. What's this other quest that we're doing, though? Hi, Devo. Can't do anything with that one just yet. Or we have finished it. again who's he don't remember ever meeting that man meeting or eating oh well okay we gotta get when back to you, the hospital wait 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 wait, wait. I want to like <sighs> I want to give medicine to all these people. Oh! I think you're right. Yeah. Sorry. I forget that landlords are people sometimes. Silly little quirk of mine. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> this game apparently thinks landlords are. Whoa! I need this man. Fucking hell! Can you... Please! I need to be locked on to the correct person. He's not hard. He's just obnoxious at this point. Oh my goodness. If I never have to fight another one of those fuckers, it will be too soon. I'm gonna have to, though. I'm not particularly pleased about that. But is what it is, I suppose. Can we go locked. through? No. Do you have a thing on you? I'm getting lots of gun parts. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
I've done it so bad! Who let you out of the sewer? Maybe if he can just lumber away for a little bit. I can get me some blood. No! Stop! I don't want you here. <laughs> no. Oh, this is not great. Fuck. up there. I don't... Why, though? <laughs> but why? Stop. Okay. Handled. I could just walk away. I don't want to. I don't want to walk away. I just want to I just want to make it clear that this is not the option that I want. But, I don't think I'm fully equipped to take them on right now. Someone seems spaghetti. I have to sneeze. Oh. oh my god, there's more of those guys now. I pick up the item that he has dropped. Have you actually dropped an item? Yes, nowhere near where you fell. Okay. Over there. Oh! I didn't Over see that, man. Burning. Stop! Stop! Why are they all so rude all of the time? And pain are precious when binding you to the earth. Okay. You. Okay, I Daddy Bam. You. <laughs> Whatever you say. Oh, hi! You got horns! Oh, that's pretty cool. Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. You selected me. Chose me. As shall my children yet to come. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient an older rage brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek to oh, crack in his voice. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. Alright. I've had enough of others making decisions for me. 
pretending to know how I should feel or behave. Okay. So Jonathan. the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity. So stab a snake, or yeah. Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. Let's first make some stuff. I need... <laughs> a snock? Gotta stab me a snock! Snoke? Be Snoke, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's also level up. Um, that would be great. I do need me some more stamina. That is the only thing that we will be able to level. Fantastic. Okay. Look at that! Everyone's feeling better! Stongs fall! Well, not everyone's feeling better. Okay. Tippett has a headache. Strickland also has a headache. Thelma also has a headache. I don't know that I can cure headaches just yet. I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't have the recipe for headaches and migraines yet. The flower's dying. It needs water. I know it needs water. Did my little... I don't want to recycle anything. And I have no means of analyzing things right now. Um... Travis, no. I would be very upset about that genuinely would be very upset <laughs> um ooh better reload time please i need four more common trigger parts to upgrade the good revolver to level 3 i am very upset with this very bad shotgun that i purchased <laughs> I also need good handle parts and lead plates to fix all of that. Okay. Wait, are these recyclable parts? I should recycle these. Okay. This gives me things to, to make. It helps to look properly. Jesus Christ. Let's just. That man fucking would. You want to fix your migraine? Raise the rent? Okay. That's still not. That's still not... Can I make more things, though? I can! I need more... <laughs> Keep thinking potassium... Per... Manginate? Is potassium pomegranate? Um, and it's not. It's absolutely not that. Boy, do I love, do I love pomegranates, though. Um. Oh, where's... Let's go talk to Edgar first, and then we can go talk to... 
Xiao Shun? Is that how you say her name? Who's yelling? I need that headache recipe. God protect Hi, Devo. us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My oh, I thought he was going to say my leech. <laughs> You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm this tired meow? of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can Speaking play of that the scent of Devo, say hi! You can't hide Come from the guard. Come here! Leave him, Jonathan. People want to say hello to you. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. Oh, look at the Devo beans! And I just had the carpet cleaned. Devo beans! Must be an ex-boyfriend. Ooh, we got competition. Well, not even. Very Can't bad say news. competition. Bad news indeed. Hi. Oh, thank you for the licks. Are you a good sweet boy? Yeah. Okay. Go get your water. I interrupted you. I'm sorry. So who is he? Pembroke Hospital, 4th of August. Do uh, dear Dr. Swansea, I will be glad to manage a temporary morgue as soon as it's opened. As I have already told you, I was a doctor during the war, and I will be glad to serve my country again. I know it is not the same being a physician for the dead as it is for the living, but I believe it is, uh, is important to welcome and take good care of our departed, too. Rest assured, I will do my best to fully perform this new duty to the best of my ability. Concerning the question of my qualifications, I'm sorry, I can't give you anything more valuable than my parole. I swear to you that my regiment made me doctor during the war and that I saved many lives. If my word is not enough, you can contact the military administration to verify my experience and skills. They will confirm that uh, even if I never followed any medical studies, the war taught me what a doctor really needs to know. Always sincerely, Rakesh Chidana, former doctor. He keeps referring to himself as former doctor. And I guess that's probably why, because he was never, like, properly certified. Thank you for the bubble, Travis. Um, Pembroke Hospital, the 25th of October. Dear Dr. Swansea, I must inform you of my deepest reservations concerning the Dr. Thoreau, Strickland, and Harvey Fittick case. Mr. Fittick has been hospitalized after a severe work injury. He may permanently lose the use of his arm if not treated adequately. Dr. Strickland claims that a surgical procedure may save the man's arm completely. I say it may also severe, uh, sever its functions for good if complications arise. Our young colleague is an audacious and daring surgeon who might prove a great professional in a few years, but for now he lacks the skills to perform such a risky procedure. Need I remind you of the mistakes he made in the past? Since Dr. Strickland refuses to listen to me, I strongly advise you to forbid him to perform such a hazardous experiment. Very respectfully, Dr. Waverly Aykroyd. Okay, I got information for other people. Oh my god. Boof! We're gonna skip that one because it's not conversation related. I can always go back and read things if people want it. Edgar! The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss oh! Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. <laughs> the duty nurse is taking care of the mess. We we didn't do that. I don't think. I don't think we did that. 
Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. Did we do that? Else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became oh! more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Oh no, I definitely Since do. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Dang! Sean seemed like an alright dude. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Okay, but I do want to see the state in which Miss Harriet has left her uh, former quarters. Where is she? Where was her room? Was it? Is it the other side of the hospital? Oh! Oh, how did we miss this? I did come in from the back. Jesus! So many deaths. What on earth happened here? Okay. Wow, we the life running in your veins. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. How goes the cleaning? What can you tell me about the recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. Yikes. <laughs> Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but well, maybe it was him. Okay. <laughs> Big yikes. There's Goodbye. Nice. There. Excuse you, coming through. That. Oh, Jonathan, I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman, butchered by some savage scowl. <laughs> no. Everything dies, or should. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me. Harry was a bit despondent, but there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Um... Have you embraced this woman, like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life, unless they ask. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. You're okay. Um... What do you know Ascalon? of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? 
He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. Excuse me? You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. Man's name was Fergal? What is Ascalon? The okay. Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Fergal. Take my advice and Goodness stay gracious. well away. Okay. Um. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Okay. Um, well, Thank she's you, unhelpful. I hope to see you again soon. So then is this not... Harriet's body? Oh, got some opium. Oh, got us some opium. Hey, bud. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doc. I don't necessarily want to ask. Sorry. Someone's outside mowing what can the you lawn tell me about the recent at 8 p.m. Someone killed Miss Jones in her room, and Mr. Hampton's gone missing. Okay. Doesn't take a genius to piece it together. You don't seem shocked by any of this. Why should I be? Whoever did this must be long gone by now. And besides, he got rid of the old bag. Goodbye, Milt. Okay, let's just leave that at that. So, should we... Brannigan, Gwendolyn said that uh, the body was at the morgue, right? Do you think it's important to check there? Rakesh? Hey, buddy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Can you tell me anything about recent events in the hospital? Oh, goodness me. This whole story is such a shame, sir. I have no idea how it happened. What are you talking about? Poor, poor Miss Jones. Her body is missing. Someone stole it. Uh, excuse Ms. me? Miss Jones's body has gone missing. Yes. The body was brought here this morning. And now it's gone. Who could have stolen a corpse? That's exactly what I asked myself for the whole day. Who could do such a thing? These are terrible and shameful times, Dr. Reed. Okay, Goodbye, I... Mr. Chidana. I could have asked some questions about the letter that I found, but I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to go that way. Shun is closer, though. Maybe we go talk to Shun first. Do you think we can take on a level 18 skull? Absolutely, we cannot. <laughs> Worth a shot. Did it bad. Don't, don't mind me, boys! Just passing through!
going to change this weapon back again. Um. <laughs> we got this. Everything's fine. I don't. That. <laughs> we'll wait to deal with that skull a little later. We did not do a ton of damage to him, which is. Fine, I could do it if I had the patience. Oh, but I don't. Oh my god. We can deal with these guys pretty easily now, which is nice, considering they're all over the streets. My assumption is that that skull will respawn, though, every time, because we've been here before and have killed these guys. I've gone the completely, the complete incorrect way. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe we'll continue main story first. Oof. Well. Oop. No, I. I want to look around the map. Is that not? Is that not the graveyard? No, we're going to go. We're going to go check on her. I have decided. <laughs> And then, I don't know if we'll have time by the time I get to her and chat and see what's going on to continue with the main quest. Okay, this is the correct way. And to you. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I've done this very bad. Okay, so we're just gonna not lock on anymore when I need it. No, I need you to stay locked on, bud. Would you like to dodge the enemies? Maybe? Some blood because we are very low. wasn't concerned. Um, I just wanted to check on this lady who apparently is still in the cemetery even though she said she was leaving. Over there! There's one of 
Ma'am, I think you need to go back to Whitechapel. Hey, lady. upgrade was a very good choice though I still need more but it's not been doing too bad um, it has been useful I mean I'll never have enough you are correct <laughs> are you all right Miss Shun? my name is Xiao Shun this is the proper way to address someone in my country I do Xiao apologize Xun. Xiao Shun are you okay. all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Girl, some there are so many monsters everywhere. Okay, um... Tell me how your husband died, Xiaoshu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, mm -hmm. There is so little medical science can do to defeat <laughs> the monsters are all in our head I'm this entire so. time. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. Not a deadly the premonition situation. To no, to have lost him so quickly. Oh, no, even no. Before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a happy sort. <laughs> Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his Edgar is our new Zach. Did he not realize what was going to happen? <laughs> I'll never know. Oh goodness. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? <laughs> you don't understand. No fishing rods. I didn't know he was so sick. Not happening. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh not as this happening. sounds, we are all equally vulnerable this awful disease it can take the strongest man in just a couple of days is this half said goodbye to matthew i keep hearing we what sounds like how bad it was like wind we picking up and i think it it's even. all in game but it sounds muffled enough that it sounds like it's coming from like my window usually i just like trip out about it are you on your own it's fine do you have any friends or <laughs> i have family and friends but i need to be here alone one day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. Ma'am, you need to go back. I need silence, and I need sadness. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in in game. Um. I've seen many deaths in my life, and we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent, or need to shout. Others need company, and some just can't stand it. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Did we just drop this bombshell on her? I killed my sister. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm vampire. a physician. <laughs> one of the best in the country. <laughs> but I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. It's she fine. died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. 
since she is buried here too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could Me. say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home You now. should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank Just you for your help. help. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Well, now I gotta take care of Whitechapel because I give a shit about this lady. Fuck. Goodbye for now. It's fine. You know you can trust me. Why have you not spoken to me? Because he's... Because he's dead? Okay, we have plenty of time to continue on with uh, main quest. So let's do that. Got so many people to heal. But I don't wanna. A lot of rats here. Um. Okay, so she's gonna go back to Whitechapel. Uh. For tomorrow. So that's exciting. For now. There are things on this body. I... I don't want to fall down there. I think that that's not a desirable option. box of pills. Small bottle. Things that I can take apart for things. There was money there. Okay. Boop. I'm just waiting for the day that we like hop off one of those uh, ledges and then we just hear this terrible cracking noise as our knees snap. Because, dear God. Hold on, I do want to... Since we're passing here anyway. Still can't make... I should just keep a lot of this on me at any given point, right? Be good to have. Um, and I don't think I can upgrade anything just yet either. No. Okay. Well, that's okay. We need to go find Mr. Sean Hampton and do a real quick murder on him. And then also remember to continue to loot stuff because I will never have enough items on me to do anything ever. <laughs> and we gotta resolve that. I need items to craft things. God, there's so much crafting. It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. I must be more careful. Not a safe place right now, sir. Okay. Run along home, sir. Okay. Do you think they know I'm here? It's locked, all right. Oh. Keep going. Don't mind me 
me, guys. Oh. Ouch. I am stuck in a bush. Look, these dudes are so concerned about there being leeches. About there being vampires everywhere all the time. And yet I can hear skulls screaming. And they've done nothing about these. My god. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oof. This is fine. It's fine. It's okay. I just forgot to heal. We'll just remember to heal next time. It's fine. It's fine. It's actually fine. It's okay fine. <laughs> oh goodness. Don't get all weird on me, game. Thank you. How far back am I? Very far- well, not nearly as far back as I thought I would be. I should do a murder. See them, fancy them. We just need to, to do the murders. Hey, do you want to like actually attack them? Stop. Stop. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's somebody here. He's dead. No. Do another chomp. I'll do up a heal. Like that. Stop. Pick up the items that they dropped. And there is somebody over here? Hello? Is it the next street over? Oh, this is the direction I was heading in. I don't know if this is where I need to be. <laughs> I'm on a slight incline and I couldn't freaking hit him! No, don't be enraged. No. need to do a chomp this time, but oh well. sound ridiculous. Where? Oh. Easy, 
Easy peasy. This is Braille. I need someone who can read this. An unreadable text with uh, written in Braille alphabet, or just the title in Roman alphabet. Cure for blindness. Wow. I don't know. Oh, I don't know that I know anyone who can read Braille at the moment. Safe assumption? I don't. Yikes. I forgot I had that move. show off that you're a cool fun person we already knew this though beforehand <laughs> i just want to do a murder on these skulls okay okay bono octo octo bono no why am i here This is so far back. Steady boys. I am upset. Bloody <laughs> leech. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. My vampire daddy says you have to be nice to me. And you gotta do what vampire daddy says, okay? Okay. Thanks. So, the items that I've looted have already been looted, right? Like, I don't see that suitcase that I, that was in this general vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> and that weapon that I picked up was taken care of. Vampire Daddy said. You gotta do what Vampire Daddy said. He's gonna be mad if you don't. I'm trying to hit the one that's already hurt. Please. Just say the one that's significantly hurt. Oh, you're... <laughs> oh no! Stop! I want this one! Oh 
Oh my god! Okay. Okay. God, the wind up for that is takes so long. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. My guy. I guess it heals me up a little bit, but I need it. Stop! They hit so hard. I didn't want to go through here, but okay. I want to rescue the guy that's over here! But boy, oh boy! Everything hurts. There's a trunk here. Did I not open that? I thought I did? <laughs> missed. I freaking missed. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so any of the important stuff that I've picked up, I continue to have even if I've died. Cause he doesn't have the book on him anymore. Let's do... Let's just do one of these. Get a chomp going so we get some more blood. Do one of those. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Please. I got stun locked. I just want them to. I just want them to die. Always come back there and do it later, but I'm here now. I would like to do it now. Why are they so mean? Oh, new spawn point. Do that later. Let's go find Sean. Who are you? That is nothing to do with the wet boots, I think. Okay. Oh, this is mean little guy. Mean what do you want? Little mean guy. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? Reasons. He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Oh! Goodbye. I remember Tom. He owns that bar. Which is here? Oh! Mark my words. Miss. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. I'm a tracker of It's okay. Tom is Tom evening, is still Tom. alive. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Wait, why is the man outside Excellent saying that it was a vampire? You remember me then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. <laughs> Welcome back, doctor. Good to know you're still you. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. 
I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? He's the kind of prey I hunt, believe. I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to now do with what happened to him Now can't stop worrying about Please, eating the poor and me. sick. I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. Oh. Well, would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Cool. I need to find thing him? is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Okay. Thanks. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. We appreciate it, Tom. Tom? Actually, how are you feeling, buddy? You're fine. Like Dyson, on the other hand, not doing like too great. Cause a problem is to solve one. There's gotta be something. You were talking about vampires. Evening, Have you witnessed any Ichabod? suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? Ichabod. More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmortem. Throgmortem? Vampire hunter extraordinaire Sorry. and warden of the East End. How fucking hunter. extra are you? Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm Buddy. not. The bloodsuckers exist. It's a very close. good name. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more It's just, about it's so much. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Um. <laughs> Shame he's gotta die. No! Also, uh, Mr. Eggplant over here? What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. Oh my God. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. This man, These though. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. So. About your work. How exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. You're doing a shit I job of it, bud. I encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Um... Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires? Can we join his ranks? I'm going to see if mind. we can. If you did that, then I can focus on my is this? Is this the new Green Arrows? Are How we going to go around and be like, do you want to join it's the vampire simple. hunters? And everyone will be like, oh, the, the pre-wind guard? And I'm like, gonna be They're like, mm -mm. Afraid of garlic the, uh, and holy symbols. vampire hunters. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? <laughs> Yourself, I mean. Of course I have. What kind of question is that? He 100% has never done a murder. Business, He's me. probably never even, like, killed a fly. Sweet boy. Have you heard of the guard of pre -win? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste. But oh! They do let anyone there. join. <laughs> Were you ever tempted to join the guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Okay, buddy. <laughs> um, I don't need Goodbye. to ask about Sean Hampton because I know where he hunting, is. Mr. Throckmorton. <laughs> I love him, though. I love him. 
Is there... Hold on. There is... A place... A safe haven... To every night, a dark... Just hand it around a little funny. There's a safe haven around here somewhere. I have already walked past it. Oh, it's right across the street from the... The bar, isn't it? Up there. I would like to upgrade. Make some things. Oops. Oh, goodness. We'll hold off on that. Let's upgrade our stats a little bit. We got some points. Might as well, right? 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 Um. Do some of these like big moves, probably. This blood cauldron, abyss. I want to boil some blood. I don't have enough points for it. Never mind. coagulation thing. Are there any... Let's heal up more when we use our bite in combat. I am happy with that selection for now. I don't know who that is! I need to ingratiate myself amongst these people a bit more. Oh wait, is that the man dead in the street? The man that was dead in the street who has now been moved? Oh no, that was the dude behind the gate! We've done nothing terrible. We didn't know he was there. Can't protect everyone, am I right? Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay, there's people in there. Is this the warehouse? Another disgusting ghoul did it, don't you think? I don't think so. Seems like the guard of three runners on the Shorthampton's trail, too. Ow! Can we not? Firewall, you're locked on, also very bad. I think I just need to focus on Big Boy because I feel like if I take out any of the mobs, they will just show up more. More of them will show up, and that's just not fortunate and not great, and I don't like that.
But we're gonna kill these guys before the end of stream. This is the plan. <laughs> That's not our problem. It's another thing that we did not see. Are there any rats out here, though? I need me... some blood. Rats? Hello, rats? Oh... Stop! Stop with your stupid fire! Oh my god. Stop! I can't see! getting stuck on things as well. God! Burn it, boys. Yeah, he's just gonna keep like, bringing new people in and that's fucking annoying. Problem. Die. 
That was annoying as fuck. I hated that. The range on that flamethrower? Absolutely annoying. The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. Sounds about right. God, put him down. Okay, um, let's find us a place to save. There is one over this way. I think. Yeah, it's not the most direct means of. That's a level 22 boy! This one of them. I think you need to deal- I think you need to worry about the level 22 sewer man that's in there. <laughs> Don't worry about me, buddy. I'm going the wrong way, and that's absolutely fine. This is where I started. Can I go through this door? Okay. That is a save right there. So we'll, uh, end it here. <laughs> we got a lot taken care of, which is exciting. Um, yeah, we'll do more of this next week because it's it's friday is our friday stuff finishing luigi's mansion and doing some indie games and it's gonna be great and fantastic we're very excited about it but until then let's get these raid messages set up and so see who we can go hang out with um got lots of friends on today actually and let me make sure that they're that's everyone Oh my god, so many people. Alright, we got ATM Zero doing some Phasmophobia. Sam is on doing Fallout 4. I think it's more John Cena. Do we want to go hang out with Sam? We can go hang out with Sam. Let's go hang out with Sam. We love Sam. Sam's delightful. Plus it's John Cena, so you know. We gotta? So like, we gotta. Um... <laughs> Ba -da -ba -ba! Ba -da -ba -ba! That's my, there's my John Cena for you. Um, <laughs> as always, friends, thank you for being here. I love you. You're fantastic, beautiful, darling human beings. Um, this is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this game as much as I complain about the combat. I do enjoy the game overall. Um, it's very fun and it's also just fun to hang out with you guys. That's the big thing. It's just hanging out with you guys. Um, so yeah, until next time, take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your time zone. Um, go send the love over to our friend Sam. We'll see you next time. Bye!